The current state of education that supports Indigenous learners is not good enough, particularly in public systems of education. As educators, we need to be able to respond to educational reform that prioritizes improved educational outcomes for Indigenous children and youth. My name is Jan Hare. I'm an Anishinaabe from the Chiging First Nation in Northern Ontario. I live and work on the traditional, ancestral, and unceded territories of the Musqueam people on the west coast of British Columbia. An important aspect of this course are the conversations with Indigenous and non-Indigenous educators who share with us strategies, teaching exemplars, and their own learning journey in Indigenous education that help us rethink our practice and in doing so rethink our relationship with Indigenous people and their worldviews. Through their words, we see that reconciliation means different things to different people, yet their conversations reveal that it takes real work, real commitment to shift our thinking and the way we do things in classrooms, schools, and communities. Research consistently tells us that young Indigenous learners will experience success when educational approaches value Indigenous ways of knowing, and if learning is inclusive of Indigenous content and perspectives. For educators, creating a radically renewed relationship means learning about the histories of Indigenous peoples impacted by colonial practices that bear significantly on the lives of Indigenous students and their families. It requires us to reflect on our own personal and professional assumptions and beliefs that influence how we teach, allowing us to consider how we might advance Indigenous ways of knowing in educational spaces. I invite you to make this commitment to a renewed relationship by joining this course, Reconciliation Through Indigenous Education. Miigwech. Thank you.